Hello guys, welcome to my last class of normal distribution class. Now here I consider one of important problem in, a examine, in an examination taken by 500 candidates. How many students are taken? 500. The average and standard deviation of marks obtained are 40% and 10% respectively. They are given a mean, a mean and average in terms of the percentage. Assuming normal distribution, find how many have scored the above 60%, how many will pass if 50% is fixed as the minimum uh, for passing, what should be the minimum for 350 candidates to pass. Okay. Now they are given already, they assumed as a normal distribution. They given, uh, one thing you have to observe, they given mean and standard deviation in terms of percentage. They are asking also percentage, not necessary I have to convert mean and standard deviation in terms of decimal. Leave it in terms of percentage because they are asking the question is in terms of a score above 60%. If minimum will be a 50% like that, better I have to leave it the mean and standard deviation in terms of the percentage that's a very very important now before going to convert mean and standard to decimal observe carefully they are asking in terms of percentage leave it the mean and standard deviation also in terms of the percentage now first you define what is x let x be the random variable which denotes percentage of marks scored by the by a student or by a candidate choice of candidate is nothing but student now, given mu, I think everyone is clear why I taken this x is a percentage of marks scored by his, the students. They are asking based on how much is above 60, how many students, minimum is 50%, how many will be passed like that. Therefore, uh, these are the given the thing for one student, a standard deviation and mean. And then after that, you multiply it by 500. We get how many students belongs to about 60 percentage like that. In the normal distribution, what is the Z formula? X minus mu by sigma. What is my mu is 40? What is sigma is 10? Don't convert in the form of decimal because they expecting the result out in terms of the percentage. First case is how many have scored above 60 means probability of x greater than 60. x had to convert in terms of uh, z means 60 minus 40 divided by 10 we get probability of z greater than 2. z greater than 2 first you identify the area where we will get area in the standard normal distribution curve. This is a area z greater than 2. We already discussed z greater than 2 can also be written as half of the area of the entire curve 0.5 minus unshaded area. What is unshaded area is 0 to 2. That can be written as area of z is equal to 2. Area of z is equal to 2. You take a table. You search 2 in the table. 2.00 is 0.4772. Therefore, I will write it point. 4772.5 minus this simplify that but they are asking how many students how many number of students score 60 percent they try to multiply this value by what actually uh, multiply this value by 500 because how many candidates they given 500 approximately we get 11 candidates how many candidates we get 11 candidates I think is clear. I'm moving to the next case. They are asking how many will pass if 50% is fixed as the minimum for passing. For example, we are conducting an exam for uh, students, for engineering students. What's the minimum they are going to take? Suppose the subject must be passed means 35. Minimum is 35. They may be score up to till 100. Therefore, they 50 is a minimum means it is enough to find out probability of x greater than or equal to 50. Suppose they say that is a pass at least is score 50. Minimum is 50 means greater than or equal to 50. It is enough to find a probability of x greater than or equal to 50. Minimum is 35 means 35, 36 up to 100 you, may, you say that students are pass like that. Probability of minimum if uh, 50 is fixed as a minimum means it is enough to find out probability of x greater than equal to 50. Probability of x greater than equal to 50 is nothing but I to convert x in terms of z x 50 minus 40 divided by 10 we get probability of z greater than equal to 1. Greater than equal to 1 this is a area that can be written just like a previous method 0.5 minus 0 to 1. 
Now that is nothing but area of z is equal to 1. Area of z is equal to 1. Z is equal to 1 from the table. Z is equal to 1. 1.00.3413. Try to substitute. Subtract from 0.5. We get 0.1587. Then multiplied by how many candidates? 500 candidates have to multiply. Approximately we get how many students? Uh, uh, candidates or students we get 79. Suppose you fix, fix 50 as the minimum marks to pass. The next and last question is very very important. Again you go back to that question. What is that question is what should be the mini minimum? They are not given minimum marks. So means suppose out of 500 students, 350 students are passed. What should be the minimum marks? So what's the minimum marks? Then 350 students are passed out of uh, how many? 500. Because the total is 500. Now they are given area but I want to know what is the minimum value. What should be the minimum? Suppose we are, what is the minimum value? So which what is the minimum value from that minimum value out of 500 how many candidates are passed? 350. Therefore I'm, I want to find out the minimum percentage of passing marks. Therefore I am going to take let m percent be the marks of the minimum for passing if 350 uh, if 350 out of 500 candidates have to pass. Suppose 350 students are passed out of 500. Now I am going to consider my minimum percentage of marks or passing marks is m percent. Minimum means what probability of x greater than or equal to m. Now what is the area they given? 33 out of 500 350 pass means 350 divided by 500. Well, after the simplification we get 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is the area. 0.7 is area if you want to plot in uh, standard normal variate curve definitely is cross negative uh, they, that uh, area comes definitely I have to take 0.2 area from left of the 0 also because right of the 0 only 0.5 but the given uh, area is 0 0.7 0 0.7 is a greater than 0 0.5 definitely z becomes where negative that comes in left of the 0 that's a when x is equal to m what is my z? m minus 40 by 10 is minus z1 I return. 0.7 the area 0.7 is greater than 0.5. Definitely z1 lies left of the 0 of z. Left of the 0 of z. I think I clear. 0.5 okay. 0 to right of the 0. But area is 0.7. Definitely we can't expect z must be positive. Z must be a negative. That line comes left of the 0. This area plus 0.2 area. We get 0.5. 5 plus 0 0.2 we get 0.7 therefore what is my z minus z1 therefore 0.7 must be equal to what is probability of x greater than or equal to m is nothing but I have to convert x in terms of z is nothing but probability of what actually uh, probability of z greater than or equal to minus z1 minus z1 yeah probability of z greater than or equal to minus z1 that can be written as half of the area 0.5 plus minus z1 to 0 probability of minus z1 to 0 plus 0.5 but minus z1 to 0 I have to change it to 0 to z1 you already know that therefore probability of this can be written as 0 to z1 0.7 minus 0.5 we get 0.2 this is nothing but area of z is equal to z1 now you already familiar with in the uh, previous session uh, this is area I want to find out z1 0.2 is a area now I have to search 0.2 here 0.2 yeah 0.2 is 1.985 1.985 is approximately equal to what's the area 0.2 0.2 is uh, corresponding to what actually 0.5 what's the top value to 0 0.52 0 0.52 what is my set one is 0 0.52 yes uh, 0 0.52 then I have to substitute this value where in this equation z is what about that m minus 40 divided by 10 minus z1 z1 is 0.52 yeah that is a thing I return and then simplify that we get m value what is m value 34.8 
but whenever i am talking about the minimum value you can't take uh, what about that uh, decimal value a uh, minimum passing per marks is 35 30 20 28 we can't take anywhere usually decimal round up to the 34.8 is what's the nearest to the whole number is 35 therefore if 35 out of 100 35 is the fixed as the minimum marks for passing then we are expecting 350 students are passed out of 500 this is a way to find out the minimum percentage of marks from the area this is one of the important problem i cover totally three problems you please refer some more problems from the textbook from graywall kc dsc you solve suppose you are not clear any problem you please concerned with uh, uh, in my video please put a uh, comments and going to give an answer are you clear yes thank you very much for listening for uh, normal distribution i think uh, my aim is suppose you clear the concept then easy to solve all the problems in the yes, beauty of the probability in every problem is a new problem suppose you know the concept easy to solve that's why i'm giving so much stress and uh, important to explain concept thank you very much i'll come and meet next uh, uh, video for joint probability distribution. Bye. Thank you. Take care.